Okay, here we are, NAV 2013. Uh, we're still here with Luke Smith at uh, the Waves booth, and we are going to talk about another item here that we're pretty excited to see, uh, which is uh, emulation of the old Abbey Road Studio uh, consoles, and it's entitled Red, and we'll go ahead and talk with you a little bit about that, Luke. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. So, this is going to be the latest in our analog modeling technology, and we're just going deep and deep and deeper. There's lots of classic analog pieces out there that we like to model. So uh, we contacted Abbey Road specifically about modeling their RED consoles. Now RED stands for Record Engineering Development Department. And that means that these were built in-house by Abbey Road Techs. The first one starting in 1955. So the, the records, the, the, the time span of the record, excuse me, let me say that again. So these consoles were put in use between 1955 and 1967. So you can look back on what came out of Abbey Road at that time and know what kind of classic sound these really these guys really have. So we went ahead and developed um, two different components here. And the first one I'll take we'll take a look at is the Red 17 component. Right now, the Red 17 component has, uh, that was the first console that they made, right? And it has some pretty easy parameters here. We have a tone high parameter, we have a tone low parameter. We have the ability to link it, which is linked to a stereo track right now. We can do dual mono processing if we need to, or we can even do MS processing. In which case, this will be the mid, and this will be the side, all right? We'll go ahead and go back to stereo. We have both a 20 dB pad, full frequency pad, or we have a bass lift that's nice and pillowy and kind of wide, centered around 50 hertz. The, <coughs> excuse me. the original idea there is that it was supposed to compensate specifically for the mid-side recording techniques that they were using a lot back in the day. So as a phase coherency changes, bass goes away, so that's why they put that bass lift in there. And it's just a really nice bass boost. It's great sound. We've got gain, which will adjust and um, the behavior and change the behavior of the drive knob, which is really one of the most special knobs out there. So let me go ahead and play back real fast. Not bad at all. So that's the 17. Now with the 37 and the 51 consoles, they did add some extra parameters, specifically around the EQ section. And then between the red 37 and 51, they had identical EQ sections, but the only difference really was the amp type. So the 37 used, and the 17 for that matter, used Siemens B72 amps, and the red 51 uses these newer red 47 amps that gave them a little bit more headroom and a little bit less distortion. So you have the amp type selection here to get either color, right? Now, I'll also mention that you have channel one and channel two here specifically for stereo processing because when they were processing stereo content on channel one and channel two of the original desk, you can imagine harmonically they were a little bit different. So we don't, you don't have to use it that way if you feel like it's messing with your stereo image, but we do give you the option to recreate that sound by having one on channel one, or the left channel on channel one and the right channel on channel two, right? If need be. You got a gain knob. The extra EQ settings really relate to the pop and classic setting that we have here that actually do change the behavior of both the tone high and tone low parameters. The pop setting turns it from a shelf, a nice gradual shelf, into a bell curve, right? And the tone low parameter gets boosted a little bit more aggressively as well. Now, the drive knob, that's a different type of distortion than what's on the 17. So obviously with, with all of our plugins, especially here on the trade show floor, we encourage you guys to download it, listen to the demo, and use it in your own listening environment and see what you think. And that's it. Sounds great. Yeah. There it is, you guys. Uh, Waves Red. Uh, download it at the Waves website. Check it out. Let us know what you think.